Toilet Talk with Terry. That would be me. With tonight's topic of... Good to be here, as usual. So yes, we're going to discuss how to annoy the passenger next to you on a flight. Ooh, nobody does better at that than my grandpa. Mmm, -hmm. scary, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I sound like Hardy now. He'll either be on his way to see us from Wisconsin or back to Wisconsin from seeing us. Gets nervous around strangers and conversations, so... His brother's always got a lavalier on and he's got an earpiece in to guide him through conversations with strangers. Like I have mentioned on the last have mentioned on the last season. Yeah, that was a great story. I don't I don't care what you old folks say, that was a great story. Mm-hmm. Also, like I said on the last season though, yes, sometimes he forgets that he's helping his brother and is elsewhere with other people. And he uh Forgets to turn his lavalier off. Turn your lavalier off, dummy. If you're not gonna help him, then don't make him say things that are that sound derogatory. Good grief. He will repeat everything you say, no matter what it is. He's that literal. Just turn your lavalier off. But does he? No. My grandfather's on the plane. This young lady sits next to him. His brother has neglected him as at a football game. Meanwhile. And he just so happens to have a uh, guy who's big, yeah, big, sitting in front of him blocking his view. And he has no regard for whether or not he, hurt, he hurts other people's feelings. His brother doesn't. Well, hence he doesn't have regard for his brother either. So, <laughs> next thing my grandfather knows, <laughs> this lady says hi to him, and he replies to her with, Move your fat self over! <laughs> oh boy, mm-hmm, yeah. Well, there's nobody, there's nobody to annoy on the plane now, you old fart. She's moving away, because you said that to her. Or if she really is big and fat, she's moving away. Shortly after his flight took off, his brother left the football game and went for a late night dinner at the varsity. A guy behind my grandfather on the plane taps him and says, what's your problem, sir? And he replies with, what do you have? Mm -hmm. They go and get a flight attendant on him, y'all. And when the flight attendant approaches his seat, she stares him down and says, What do you have to say for yourself, man? And he replies with, Man, these onion ring rings are tasty. <laughs> and the flight attendant looks him, stares him down and says, Are you okay, man? Having delusions or something? Are you out of your mind? Are, are you okay? You need a doctor? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, let me test your knowledge, okay? Uh, what's two plus two? And he replies, yeah. Okay, maybe you didn't hear me that time, because I see your hearing aid. Um, let me ask you again. What's two plus two? And he replies, a chili dog. A little while later in the flight, my grandfather's asleep. The flight attendant has given up on him and he's asleep. And then his brother is meanwhile back home baking something. He still doesn't know his lavalier is still on. To my surprise. My grandfather then lets a big rip in his sleep. He farts in his sleep. He passes gas on the leather seat in the plane. Ew. And in his sleep, he repeats after his brother, who's baking, Ah, oh, my buns are burning. My buns are burning. Mm-hmm. I haven't even gotten to the best part. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Later, his brother is having time with his wife, and he says things to her that, that you should never say in public. I don't even know if I'm going to go into it. Or maybe I will. Maybe I will. Or not. Or maybe. You know what? No, I'm not going to share everything. I'm, I'm just going to make a long story short. Skip to the end. In the end, when the flight lands, the flight attendant comes back to his seat and says to him, Okay. Everybody is disgusted now about the derogatory things you've been saying. Nobody wants to hear about your imaginary wife. Okay, you understand that, you old fart? And then he replies with, what was that, sugar bear? Mm -hmm. So, y'all want to know the answer to the question? How do you annoy a passenger on the plane? 
or a passenger sitting next to you on the plane? The answer is simple. Be like Justin Bieber. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Be like a grandpa. Be like an old man. You know, with the hearing aids. Just be like grandpa. Be like grandfather, or whatever you call him. There, that's, that's the answer. All right, well, that concludes the Toilet Talk with Terry Tin. I have enjoyed this season. Hope y'all have enjoyed it just as much as I have. Don't forget to click subscribe for more com... <laughs> comments. No, no, not comments. Content. There's a big difference. Coming soon. It's going to be amazing. You don't want to miss it. All right. Take care. Peace, everybody.